So one of the things that we wanted to do with uh, at CTA member benefits is to uh, discuss one benefit that all of you have access to every single month. Oftentimes when we talk about member benefits, it can be really overwhelming because there are so many that are available. And so what you see on the screen, there is a website at the very bottom, and that is www.ctamemberbenefits.org. That is where you can find all of the member benefits that you have available to you. This evening, uh, we're going to very briefly talk a little bit about where you can find your member benefits, how you can get in touch with us, some of the resources that we have, and then we have invited the fabulous Bianca Odom to uh, come in and talk with us a little bit about California Casualty. And then when she's finished, we'll do a Q&A session. And then we, uh, we would not be doing justice if we did not give you a homework assignment. So there's going to be homework. Don't let that scare you, though. <laughs> So one of the things, since it's just a small group, um, if you don't mind, in the chat, tell us what chapter you're with or what school district, and then tell us how you heard about this webinar series. One of the things that we'd like you to do is pull your cell phones out and go to the website that you see on the screen, www.ctamemberbenefits.org. And one of the things that we'd like to do is encourage all of you to register on our website. And you can do that in the upper right hand corner. It's real easy. You put in your name, your phone number, your address. One of the things that you're going to need to know is what your member, your CTA membership ID is. So if you don't know what that is, we've given you a phone number and you can call that. That goes to the CTA member benefits office and we can tell you what it is over the phone. In addition, we also have a, a brochure called the CTA Highlights. And if you would like one of uh, a copy of this, uh, we have it available as a PDF. So you can take a picture of this screen and this will tell you how you can find it on our website. Or number six, I've given you my email. If you send me an email, just say I attended the MB for you I can uh, shoot you over a PDF copy of the highlights. Like I said, every month we do this, we uh, do it on the first Tuesday of every month. And uh, this month in November, we're discussing California casualty. If you are interested, you can scan that QR code and go in and just check which, uh, which uh, sessions you might be interested in attending. So the reason all of you are here tonight is to learn a little bit about California Casualty. That is who CTA Member Benefits has endorsed to offer our auto home renters insurance policies. And our expert, don't let that scare you, Bianca, is <laughs> Bianca Odom. She is the CTA Strategic Account Manager. So Bianca, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and you can share yours. Okay. While Bianca is pulling that up, um, she has worked for California Casualty for a number of years. And when I moved to California, I actually uh, have my auto and home insurance with California Casualty. And, have been very happy. So, Bianca, take it away. Okay, thank you, Sean. So, can you see my screen? Uh, not yet. Okay. Okay. But oh, I can pop it up too if you need me to, Bianca. I might. So far, it says it's just connecting and it's spinning. Oh. Might not be the best internet connection. Did you want to go ahead and share it then, Yvonne? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. Thank you. Of course. Well, thank you for that nice uh, introduction, Sean. Um, it's been a pleasure working with both of you. And as far as um, an introduction for me, so yes, I'm the 
strategic account manager for California Casualty. So I'm basically the liaison between uh, CTA member benefits and California Casualty. So um, happy to help. I'm out in the field a lot at different conferences and that. So I might have met some of you, but I've been working for California Casualty for 23 years now, working in a variety of um, areas. And so I'm happy to be here with you. And then, oh. do, is this my screen that you're seeing? It's my screen. So let me know when you want to go to the next slide, Bianca. Okay. Because I, I can only see, okay, if you want to, yep. oh, yeah, the next one. Okay, thank you. Um, so yeah, so this is, I'm just going to share a little bit about all of the great benefits and that that we offer um, through California Casualty for you being a part of CTA and um, a little bit about what's going on in the insurance industry. So um, this is our star promise. So California Casualty, um, we strive on being simple, trusted, affordable, and right for you. So with simple, we really try to make things easy. We have trusted advisors available to help um, provide recommendations on coverages and answer any questions and things that you might have. We have claims available to you 24 seven if you were to need it. And we have online access to either start a new auto insurance policy. If you'd like to do that online, you can quote and start the policy. Or if you already have a policy with us, then you can access your policy online. Um, we've been working with CTA now for 72 years. So we started our partnership in 1951. So it's been a very long time and we've enjoyed our partnership. So you could just be confident that we have your best interests in mind. Um, and so while we might not always have the cheapest rate for every single situation, one thing that we can guarantee is that you do have your member only rates. And when you add that with the exceptional service that you get, um, from a program that's not available to the general public, we do feel like this is the best value for CTA members. And really our focus is just to make our product offer offerings right for you. So we have broad policy protection, which basically just means if you were to allow someone else to drive your vehicle, um, a vehicle that's covered under our policy, we do extend that coverage. And we have waived deductibles for CTA members. If anything happens to your vehicle um, while it's on school grounds, we would waive your deductible. You have pet injury coverage, free ID theft. We have a lot of things that are unique and tailored specifically for educators. So, in, so next slide, please. Um, and another way that we're continuing to show our commitment to CTA members is we've recently enhanced our coverages specifically for educators. So um, under the auto insurance policy, if you were to have personal property in your vehicle that's used for school or business and it gets damaged by fire, collision, or if it's stolen um, while the vehicle, um, well, in your vehicle during the scope of employment, we'll cover you up to $1,000. And within that, that includes up to $500 for any non-electronic personal property. So if you have your golf clubs or something that's in the vehicle, um, you have that additional coverage as well. And under the property, the new enhancement that we have is, um, and this is whether it's a home policy or renters, will cover up to $1,000 for fundraising money or goods that's damaged or covered. So there's a, a fire or something uh, or stolen while well, it's on school grounds, we will provide that coverage for you. And both of these coverages were previously covered up to 500. So this is a, a new enhancement as of uh, last month. And uh, another thing that we offer to CTA members is we provide a couple of different grants. And so right now we have the athletics grant. Um, where we are offering a grant up to $1,000 that you can use for middle and high school teams. So if this is something that you're interested in that you would like to apply for for your school, you can go to that um, web address there at calcashathletics.com and you just put a little write-up about why you feel your school is um, you know, worthy of the grant and we're happy to award many grants all throughout uh, California and you have until January 15th to sign up for that. And then um, if you don't go to their website, uh, we also have it on the CTA member benefits.org homepage, and you'll see it there also where you can um, complete the application. Great. Thank you, Yvonne. You're welcome. 
All right, and then another one of our uh, great benefits that we offer to CTA members is we have load local field representatives that are out in your area. So these are just different contacts that you can reach if you um, have questions uh, for us. And um, you might actually know someone who's here on the screen because collectively they make up about 70 years of California casualty experience. So it's been a long time that they've all been working there and they're happy to assist in any way uh, as well as my myself, of course. All right, and so that's the summary of all of the great benefits and things that, again, that we offer through your uh, CTA benefits through California Casualty. Um, but while I had you, I just wanted to take this opportunity to share a little bit about what's going on in the California insurance industry. Um, you may have even heard on the news or online or just even experienced with your own insurance, uh, but the property insurance landscape, especially in California, is rapidly changing. In the insurance market, they're really making a lot of changes to ensure financial health and to ensure that they meet um, financial obligations to pay claims in that. So I just wanted to share a little bit about what's going on and so you can see, um, again, what is happening and how carriers are responding. I'm going to go to the next, next slide. So inflation is creating unprecedented financial stress in insurance markets. And just to give you a couple examples of that, um, some of the major carriers in, in 2022, like Progressive and Allstate, they had almost $30 billion in incurred losses. So not million, billion with a B. Um, Geico had even more, about $33 billion in losses uh, last year. And State Farm experienced um, over $56 billion in incurred losses. So it's it's been um, a lot going on with that. If you want to go to the next thing, Yvonne, please. So just sharing a little bit about what's causing the high loss ratio. Um, so first we have a... 41 year high historic inflationary cost. So, you know, we're all seeing this, whether it's at the grocery store or gas and things, but it's it's not only hitting us personally, it's hitting insurance companies too, with the cost of parts, labor, medical expenses, all of that stuff is on the rise. Um, there's been supply chain shortages, which creates longer repair time, which creates um, added rental car expense. People are in their rental cars much longer. And in some cases we're having to total cars um, when we normally we wouldn't. So like, for instance, if it, we've had situations where a Cadillac converter was stolen, you know, it should be simple enough as replacing the part, but it's taken so long to get that part. And then if you need to go get your smog test and your, you know, your tags renewed, we're just having to total the vehicle altogether. So paying a lot more for the claim than we probably, um, than we would have in the past. And the claims are also open longer than they have been in the past, which is causing us to pay, um, you know, like today's inflation costs over a claim that maybe happened last year because it's just, it's been open for so long. Plus we have modern cars that have advanced features that require special replacement parts and that takes longer to repair. And then there's the catastrophic weather related events that I'm sure you are all aware of. Um, you know, unfortunately California in particular has been hit pretty hard with wildfires and other things. And um, just as an example with January of this year, we had that storm in California and um, that was estimated to cost about $30 billion just from that, that storm alone in January. Then in addition to that, there's been some other financial uh, pressures too. So insurance companies also have to pay for insurance. It's called reinsurance. And because of all of inflation and claims costs and all of these different things, um, those costs are going up too. And um, all of these factors, along with the fact that the, the CDI hit, or the California Department of Insurance has put a hold on um, increasing rates for insurance companies for over 30 years is now leading to insurance carriers having to take double digit rate increases. Um, and so again, some of you might have already experienced that, so just wanted you to be aware. But carriers can't solely rely on rate action to, fi to fix the financial stress. So they're also taking other actions. Um, so some carriers are taking some non-rate underwriting actions like requiring payment in full versus offering a payment plan. Um, they're implementing new business moratoriums where they're just not um, writing insurance at all or they're limiting how much, um, you know, new business that they'll write. And so since 2022, 
uh, seven of the top 12 insurance companies, which is 85% of the market share, have restricted new business operations, um, despite the, the rate increases in that. So uh, the FAIR plan actually has really been um, being utilized a lot more than it has before. I mean, they're receiving now about um, 1,000 applications a day just because carriers are pulling back, not insuring at all, or they're non-renewing policies. So there's a lot of different things going on there. And uh, lastly here, the other thing that carriers are doing to, to help with all of this is reducing operational expenses. So they're closing offices. You may have heard that GEICO um, closed all of their offices in, in California last year. And a lot of carriers are having to restructure and reduce staff. Some are outsourcing and just relying on automation. Um, and then most carriers are having to pull back on marketing and reduce um, those marketing expenses. And an example of that would be in the Super Bowl this year. You know, that's usually a time where you see all those funny commercials from Progressive and Geico and State Farm and that. And um, we didn't see any of that this year because of the carriers are just not spending those funds um, as a way to kind of cut back and save on expenses. All right, next slide, please. So despite all of the challenges the insurance industry has been facing, um, one thing remains the same for California Casualty is that's our dedication to serving our customers. So um, this is just to highlight that uh, Forbes article that just came out. So Forbes surveyed 15,000 customers and developed a list of the top companies across five different insurance categories, um, including auto and home. And respondents were asked whether they were satisfied with their insurance company and they would recommend it to others. And uh, California Casualty ranked number three out of the top 30 carriers. So we're super proud of that. We weren't expecting it at all and happy to stumble across that article. Um, and another one that just recently came out, I can't put it on the screen because it's the um, consumer reports and they really want people to buy their um, subscriptions, but we could certainly, you know, tell about it. Um, but this was in September of 23 and California Casualty was ranked eight out of the 12 leading companies featured in the in the terms of the overall satisfaction. And to put it in perspective, um, we did the consumer reports in November of 2019, we were tied for fifth place with three other carriers, which positioned us seventh in the company. So our placement remains unchanged um, with California Casualty. We're just consistently outperforming the majority of well-known national and specialty carriers, which is just really big because California Casualty, again, is, you know, we're affinity companies who are just insuring educators and law enforcement, firefighters, groups like that. So we're not um, insuring the general public. So for us to to show up on these major um, surveys is just really powerful and just speaks to our dedication to all of you and to provide the best service um, that we can. And so that's really that all that I have here. So what questions do you all have for me?